Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I have received a lot of salty, over-the-top messages from a lot of different survivors, but I have never received a message from a killer in my four years of playing this game. Until now. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that killers never get salty. They obviously do. I've seen a lot of other people get salt from killers or killer streamers and stuff like that. Obviously, it happens. I'm just saying from my experience, I've never had a killer reach out to me and send me uh, a message uh, complaining about how I played or calling me names or, or whatever uh, until just yesterday. Matthew Santoro invited me to do some swift games with him while he was streaming. I was not streaming at the time, but I joined in. I had some free time and wanted to get some survivor challenges done. So I joined him and we played some games and had a good time, and during this match on Larry's, I encountered this Legion. I take the Legion on a nice little 3 gen chase, and towards the end of the chase, I give a little bit of teabag action because I want them to chase me until the gens are done, I want them to focus on me. Even after the gens are done, I want them to focus on me because I want everybody else to be able to escape. Once they do down me, they shake their head and attempt to slug me on the ground, which I don't have any problem with that. I did do a little bit of teabagging. I don't think any of that stuff's toxic. I know it's controversial. A lot of you guys, a lot of people in the community think that stuff's toxic. I don't. I think it's in-game actions. A lot of it's used for mind game. At, at the very most extreme, it's, it's competitive banter, maybe uh, bad sportsmanship, if you want to call it that. I'm not going to go on that rant right now. You guys know how I feel. I don't think any of that's a big deal. Some of you do. That's fine. We can have different opinions, but the point is... So Legion and I were going back and forth a little bit, a little bit of competitive banter, as I like to call it, teabagging, head shaking, and slugging uh, back and forth. And uh, at the end of the match, I did make it out and the Legion messaged me. I'm going to go ahead and show you the full chase that the Legion and I had with throwing in a little bit of commentary and a little bit of Matt's perspective as well. So enjoy. Now there's that little teabag I was talking about, a quick little one, two, three. I saw we were down to uh, one last generator and I wanted to make sure this legion stayed on me for that remaining generator so that they could get the gens done. And the chase continues. Now, as you can see, I messed up there at the pallet. I got a little bit greedy and didn't throw it down when I should have, and the Legion gave a little bit of BM back to me, shaking their head, and then they proceed to try to slug me on the ground. Little do they know I have Unbreakable and Adrenaline, so it doesn't really work out for them that well. Now at this point the Legion does lose me and I am able to heal up thanks to Matt inside the Boon Totem. While searching for a gate the Legion does find us again and comes straight for me. Matt does do a little clicky clicky to try to get their attention but they are very adamant and want to chase me which I am perfectly fine with so the chase begins once again.
Now, I gotta give a shout out to Matt, because he's actually a big reason that I escaped. He came over here um, and body blocks for me, but not only that, but he got the pallet stun on the Legion that gave me enough distance to actually make it to the gate. And that's the end of the chase. And I know there's some of you that are like, why are you teabagging at the exit gate? It's so unnecessary. And well, you know, you can certainly think that. But again, I just think it's competitive banter. I said, tee hee, catch me if you can. The Legion said, tee hee, I gotcha. And I said, tee hee, no you didn't, goodbye. Once the match was over, the Legion messaged me to say, throwing every pallet doesn't make you good. KY3. Now, I'm assuming this 3 is supposed to be an S, and they're trying to say KYS, or kill yourself. I can't think of anything else that that 3 would stand for if KY3 means something, which I, I don't think it does. So I, I'm guessing they're trying to say kill yourself, but they just don't want to get banned, so they put the 3 instead of the S. And then they top it off with, you're trash. And I respond with, sorry you had a rough game, good luck in your next one. My goal was not to bully this Legion, my goal was to get the Legion to chase me longer so my team would have a better chance of escaping, which they did, and we all did. And then, as for the little bit at the end, it just became, again, I, I look at it as competitive banter. You know, if survivors are teabagging to me, I might smack them on hook or give them a head shake, and I laugh it off. It's a good time. Just like as survivor, if a, you know, if a killer shakes their head at me or slugs me, I might give them a little bag at the exit gate. It's competitive banter. You know, it's just, it's not that serious. It's just animations in a game. At the end of the day, it was a fun, intense match, and my team definitely came in clutch to make sure I got out at the end, which was awesome. Pretty exhilarating ending, especially in the moment. And yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see Killer Salt like that in my DMs for the first time. I know there's probably a lot of killer mains watching this because I'm a killer main. I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are killer mains. So uh, I, you probably empathize with the Legion a little bit. And I know I do. I know it's how it feels to be you know, uh, just unable to catch a survivor. And, you know, they're, they're taunting you a little bit. It can be like, oh, damn. But uh, do you think it warrants, you know, telling someone to kill themselves or, you know, messaging them uh, to say rude things after the match? That's I, I, let me know down below. I, I don't think so on either side. Personally, I think it's all just... Again, I say it a million times, I think it's just goofy actions in the game. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and to close it off, I just wanted to sort of plug my buddy Matt. Uh, he didn't ask me to do this, but I just feel obligated because I think it's cool. Uh, Matthew Santoro made another YouTube channel specifically for gaming. Uh, I think probably mostly Dead by Daylight, but I, I don't know for sure. But there's already a couple of videos on there if you want to go uh, subscribe and show Matt some love. He's doing cool things, he's having a good time, and he's fun to watch. I'll see you guys in the next video or over on my Twitch. And I know we're all excited for next week. It's going to be the big, the big update in the PTB. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.